time DJ from Yankee Dabbler, we're tackling the competition to get some trains on your lap. I'm open. All right, it's football season, and we're getting ready here at Yankee Dabbler, and we're going to show you some new items that hopefully will find their way on your layout. Like this bu uh, puppy, weighing in at six ounces from the University of Woodland Scenics. We welcome you to Miss Molly's Diner. Check out this bad boy. As you can see there, I got a tremendous amount of detailing, just like everything I would expect from a Woodland Scenic building. I got the little signs there to tell you what specials are happening. Andy Reid's a big fan of that. We have there the actual illuminated sign there that says Miss Molly's Diner, including the pie and the coffee. So that's some good stuff happening there. As if you take a look at the back, you can see the meter as well as a little back, uh, back step area there. And if you even look at the blinds, you can see that they're all kind of messed up, just like a real building would. Not everything is perfect as much as we would like it to be. So this is a really cool looking building, and check this out. I also have it in N-Scale. So for your N-Scalers out there, you can have the best of both worlds there. So if you're HO, go with this one. N-Scale, go with this one. You're probably wondering how much they are. For the H01, this one retails for $98.99. We're selling it here for $79.19. And for the N Scale one, this one retails for $59.99. We're selling it for $47.99. There are no flags on this play because these are tremendously detailed buildings. You're going to love having them, as well as all the other Woodland Scenic buildings that we have. So check out our website, yankeedowood.com, and see if Miss Molly is going to be on your lab or perhaps one of the other Woodland Scenic buildings that we have to offer. Weighing in at two pounds from the University of Walthers, we have here the 90 foot motorized turntable. Wow, this is really cool. I'll tell you what, you will not need to bring out the chain gangs on this guy because that is exactly 90 scale feet. They stretch it out, no. Oh, it's boy. an inch and a half short. As you can see here, I have these are back in stock. These aren't new items here, but these are out of stock for a while. As you can see, I have everything I would need to get started here. I got the turntable there. I got the track, everything along I would need with this. This is a great looking uh, building. We also have the 110 and 130 foot as well, but the 90 foot just came in. These are really cool looking turntables to have on your layout. So if you aren't starting to accumulate a lot of engines, like I know a lot of you are, why don't you get one of these bad boys to turn around so you can uh, have a fully functional operational railroad at your disposal. Well, I'm telling you, putting these things together is as easy as catching a football. Something like that. From the University of Broadway Limited, we welcome you to look at these SD40-2s. I'll wait for applause there. Okay. Check out these bad boys. I have a multitude of different row names here to take a look at. So why don't we come over here, if we could get a closer look here, we can see that we have the BC Rail, and I think that is a wonderful looking paint scheme. We got the Ontario Northland, that's a great looking one as well. We got an Illinois Central, not the uh, typical orange we see, but I do like the Operation Lifesaver on there. We have the Chicago and Northwestern, we've seen a few of those out in the past. We got the Burlington Northern Santa Fe, that was a sharp look. We got the LNN, and I think that's a really neat looking paint scheme. One of my favorites is the Santa Fe with that yellow war bonnet. We got the Union Pacific. I don't know if everyone likes those. We got the CSX. And finally, one of my personal favorites, we got the Redding and Norton. We have certainly seen a multitude of Redding and Norton engines come up here in the past. Now, what we have happening here is we got these wonderfully detailed diesel locomotives. Last show that we did, we actually took a look at the GP20s. Well, these are very similar in terms of their quality as well as all the detailing that goes into these engines. Just take a look at these and you compare these to some of the other manufacturers that are making diesel locomotives. And the mess, these things are pretty heavy too. So these locomotives, as I get my notes here, these locomotives sell for $329.99. We're selling these for, oh, hold on, time out, time out. We're selling these for two sixty-three ninety-nine. dollars 99 I gotta tell you what, there might be a flag in that play because that is a great deal for an awesome looking locomotive. And don't just take my word for it, take Hall of Famer John Madden uh, actually is calling in right now and he's gonna tell us what he thinks about these engines. Uh, John, how you doing today? All right, John, well, what do you think about these engines? Well, I'll tell you what, these Broadway Limited engines, I, I did this is some of the best, best locomotives I've ever seen. You know, these are great. You know, something, you know, you know what, great trains, you know, Prep Bar, Prep Bar Mad spectacular locomotives. I'll tell you what, nobody had an engine like Prep Bar. You know, there is another engine, you know, it's a good engine, you know, but Prep Bar's engines, by far, were better than everybody else's, okay? You know, I, I don't know what you say, Prep Bar trains are number one. 
Okay, job. Well, can we talk a little bit more about the Broadway limited engines? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Perhaps he's kind of lost it a little bit. But as we like to do on the show, we like to hear what these engines sound like. So let's put one of these on the rails and see what they sound like. So it's ready in order in time, so let's start the clock. Here we go. All right, here is the horn. Ooh, I like that horn. Here's the bell. Wow, that's a great sounding engine. We're going to pull a train and we're going to see what it sound, looks like and sounds like in action. All aboard. Looking good. It is going down the line. No one is in its way. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. 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 Oh. 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 What? what a hit. That's got to hurt. That came out of nowhere. Let's take a look at the guy play again in slow motion. <laughs> All right, well, as you can see, what was happening here was the Reading and Order was going straight down the line, and then out of nowhere, BC Rail came and totally just tackled him and stopped him in his track. I'm telling you what. That is great defense by BC Rail, but I'll tell you what, the Reading and Northern crew cannot be happy about what just happened there. They are stopped dead, and unfortunately, I think they're going to have to punt this train because it is over. All right, so as you can see off engine reserve here, these engines, again, are fantastically detailed. Some of them have marker lights. Some of them have various different detailing that a lot of the other engines have. Again, Broadway Limited does a really good uh, job of detailing these engines specifically to what the railroad, uh, what they look like on the rail railroad. So check these guys out again. We're selling them for $263.99. It's a great deal for a great looking engine. But if these didn't figure bill, well, we might have some engines on our layout that I think you might like. As Bill Belichick would say, we're on Atherin, we're on Atherin, we're on Atherin. All right, so I guess we're going to Atherin here. We're going to check out these SD70 Max. And these are cool looking diesel locomotives there. As you can see, I have two variations of the Burlington Northern Santa Fe. I have it, of course, with the full name written out. And then I have one with just the logo. And these are cool looking engines. And then, of course, I have the regular Burlington Northern Santa Fe type engine that you would see on the local railroad today. We got the CSX, of course. Everyone loves that paint scheme. And one of my personal favorites, because you don't see a lot of it around here, is the Alaska. And the neat thing about this engine is if you take a look at the cab here, you can see this one says the spirit of, and I want to get here closely, the spirit of Palmer. And there's actually three other ones in addition to that, which have various spirit of uh, whatever uh, areas in Alaska. So if you want to get uh, a couple of different engines with a little subtle variation there, uh, especially if you're an Alaska River fan, that might be something that you want to check out. Now these are great uh, looking diesel locomotives with high quality that you expect from Atherin. The retail for $299.98, we're selling them for $254.98. These are cool looking diesel locomotives and I think you're going to feel like, truthfully, if you get one of these engines, it's got to feel like you scored a touchdown. Got it. 
We're going to take a look at this Alaska engine, but before we do that, we have to take a break and listen for a word from our sponsor. Shop Yankee Dabbler. Hooray. Okay, we're back here, and we're going to take a look at this, uh, this Alaska engine. All aboard. So the Alaska is heading towards that end zone and it doesn't seem like there's going to be anything that's going to stop it. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Check this out. That CSX is coming close. I don't know if it's going to have enough. This is going to be a close one, folks. And it looks like it's a touchdown. The Alaska has made it into the rail yard by just that much. I'll tell you what. Do you believe in miracles, folks? Because I do. Woohoo! I'll tell you what, these engines are spectacular. Anyway, these engines retail here at Yankee Dabbler for $254.99. It is a great deal to get on a diesel locomotive. And remember, if you use that engineer hall discount, you'll add an additional 5% off your total purchase. So, come on to Yankee Dabbler and check that out. We're going overtime, folks, and we got one more engine that we hope that you see on in your layout here. I'm open. I'm bad at this. Anyway, we have here the L1 Brass Hybrid Chesapeake and Ohio Hudson from Broadway Limited. And, folks, this is a gorgeous-looking locomotive there. If you take a look at this, this is the pinnacle of streamlined design here when this Chesapeake and Ohio came out with these locomotives. I'll tell you what, to be 100% honest with you, when I first saw this engine in person, I was blown away by it. I always thought it was kind of an ugly looking engine based off of colors and, and, and pictures that I would see. And then when I saw this engine in person, I fell in love with it. I think it is a fantastic looking engine. It is a very interesting looking design there. As you can see, I got all the, the streamlining, uh, streamlining uh, shrouding that I have on this engine. If you take a look at the front here, as you can see, this is a tremendous amount of detail that we have with this brass construction there. We have here, actually, the coupler opens up there. Of course, it's not a prototypical coupler to use, but that would be there in case the train had to pull these uh, a train backwards this is just a great looking engine and if you actually wanted to see the real 490 you could go to the baltimore railroad museum in baltimore and you could check out these things and i'll tell you what you get next to those drivers and those wheels are going to dwarf you it's such a behemoth so this is a fantastic looking model that broadway limited has come out with and once again we're going to hear what this sounds like so let's get started all right the oh. lamb game. Oh, come on, man. That's cool. I'm sportsman my combat. 15 yards. All right, we got the smoke going already. Here's the whistle. Check out that tackle. 
All born. Now arriving on track number one, train number 11, Carson Wentz's next injury. Whew. That's a cool looking engine. I'll tell you what, you get that engine going on your fleet, you're going to be pretty happy with uh, what that way that looks. This engine does retail for a little bit because it is a brass hybrid, so you got a lot of construction happening here. This engine sells for $749.99. We're selling it here at Yankee Dabbler for $549.99. It is a really great deal for a really cool looking engine. And I'll tell you what, that's a little bit different than all the other Hudsons that you would see other manufacturers make. Uh, this is what the way that Sino did a little bit different design there. I really like it. So come to Yankee Dabbler, check it out because I think you're going to be really happy with this. And these engines are not going to last for long. Atlas wishes they could be here today, but they were on a bye week, so maybe we'll get them next week. All right, well, I want to thank you very much for tuning into everything that we saw here at Yankee Dabbler, where every day is a train show. Every single one of these items that you saw is available on our website, so just type in whatever you're looking for here, and you'll find the item there. Get in your cart, and our wonderful uh, shipping department will get that out to you as soon as possible. We have a tremendous amount of things coming up in the future, as well as last time we hinted at the fall layout extravaganza. Woo! Yeah! Maybe. Anyway, what I want you to do is I want you to send us some uh, videos or photographs of your layout. As I said, you can have it big or small, up or down, east, west, whatever you want. I'm interested to see what your layouts look like. We're going to do a special show this fall that showcases all of our layouts. As a matter of fact, I heard someone actually has a layout that's visible from space. All right, I might have made that up, but it sounded good, right? All right, so I want to thank you very much for tuning in, and we're going to conclude this week's video with our Railfan video. We saw uh, one of the SD40s uh, of the Broadway Lim uh, the Reading and Norton Diesel, and I actually have a video of the real thing going through Jim Thorpe. So enjoy that video, and we'll see you next time here at What's Do a Yankee Dabbler, where again, every day is a train show. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Touchdown, no flags. I got it. Yeah. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. No time left.